How's it going guys? I'm Jared. And I'm Reese. Welcome to Fast Forward Film. And on today's video, we're going to be giving you three tips to help you improve your focus pulling, which in turn will make you a better filmmaker. If someone needs you to pull focus on a big set, or even if you're renting a camera for a day, you're going to need to know how to pull focus because the majority of cinema cameras don't have autofocus. So the three tips we'll be covering today have to do with distance, movement and continuity. And so I've set Reese three challenges to see if he can practice his focus pulling chops. Chops? Yeah. With that being said, we ride. Okay, so first on the list of techniques is guesstimating the distance between you and the subject that you're trying to film. We're going to take old Horace, my friend Horace down here, right? We're going to take him, Jared's going to place him at a distance of his choosing and I have to guesstimate how far away he is, which in turn is going to help me pull better focus. And after I've guessed how far away it is, we're going to use this tape measure to see how accurate I was. And then basically the idea is that you carry on doing this over and over again and after a long period of time, after you've gotten used to doing it, you're going to know how far away you're going to need to set your focus. So from right, right where you are, we're just going to place them right there. Okay, so how I'd normally do this is I'd envision me laying down, Pick. I'm around 6'2", so I'd envision how, where my head would be when I've laid down and then I'd go from there. Seven foot, six inches. That's my guess. Okay. Let's, have, let's have a test. Oh my God, okay. I undershot that big time. So we're saying 10 foot. That was terrible. <laughs> okay. But you know, we'll keep going, see if I can get any better at it. And I'd suggest that you do the same. Separate tip, uh, buy a camel with Ibis. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. This is gonna take a little while. 23.3. That's, that's 16 feet. No. Okay. 13.5. So 16 plus 13.5? Uh, 29.5. 29.5 feet. And I guess 23.3. That's the whole point of these exercises is you've got to, like the more you do it, the better you're going to get. I want to try one, I want to try one more. Yeah, try one more. I want to try do, one more. We're going to do diagonal from you. This doesn't fill me with confidence for the other tips and techniques that I'm going to be trying to give you. One of the loveliest trees in the park here. Thought it would be a nice backdrop. Going 11 foot two. Ah, oh, not bad. It's 11, 11 foot four. Yeah, I'll take that. All I'll right. Take that. Give me. Can I have a point for that? You can have one point. All right. Okay. What can I say? That's my point. Is the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. And that's why I wanted to show you guys these tips because it will help you get better. On to the second tip. Let's go. Okay, technique two. We're here with Jake and Ange. Hello. This is going to be our subject for today. We're at 2.5 on the iris. Right, we're going to get one take of Jake walking slowly towards the camera. Then we're going to get one at medium pace, so as if he was doing a brisk walk. And then we're going to get one as if he's sprinting towards the camera. And I'm going to try and keep him in focus. But I'm rather sheltered on the, on the whole uh, focus side. I usually use autofocus or I've got Jared to pull focus for me. I'm concentrating on framing and stuff like that. Right, so just a quick one. On this lens and on a lot of lenses, um, especially, especially cine lenses, you get a measurement of distance on your lens. So on the top, it's got like infinity. It goes all the way from zero to infinity. Using the tips from the previous technique, if you roughly know the distance that he's at, then you won't even need to look at the monitor. You can literally go off of how far away it looks like your subject is. All right, okay, let's give this a crack. Let's go. And I even 
got the background back in focus after. Oh, you're just all about style, aren't you? Right, we've got one more, and this is, I'm not really sure how often you're gonna use this technique, but they're gonna blindfold me, and I'm gonna try and keep focus based on memorizing how far I have to turn my hand. Okay, that's the end of tip two. Now we're on to tip three. Tip three. So I'm setting out two markers for Jake to walk between. We've already done pulling focus with a moving subject. This is more about consistency of focus. If you've got on set a marker for your actors, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to nail the focus every single time. For this particular instance, we're gonna blindfold Reese so that he has to get used to the consistency within his hand. I'll tell him, of course, to save position A and position B, but he won't be able to see with his eyes whether he's putting focus correctly. If you have clips at home, I still wouldn't advise him doing this. You happy? Yeah. You rolling? Rolling. Focus. You good? No, when do I focus? Now, anytime. Yeah. You happy with that? No, Let's have a look. I don't Let's know. Have a look. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was our three top tips. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe try out some of these exercises. It'll definitely help. Um, I'm gonna keep trying them. Hopefully I'll get better at putting focus. Thanks for joining us, Jake. Yeah, Thanks go and subscribe to his YouTube channel, <laughs> making them sick beats. Jake's an Ange. Link in the description. And with that being said, see you in the next video.